uh, we've just gone live. So I want to make sure. I, I always have to think that whenever I don't check it, I always end up like either the game's way too loud or my my cat my uh, microphone for whatever reason isn't on. So we are going to test. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, the game's in there. That's okay. Game's to be a little quieter, I imagine. Yeah, it does. Now is this noticeably quieter? Yes it is. Right then, hello! Um, I'm Dynalem once again. This is just going to be a quick version, almost a preview of which of a stream I do want to do at some point, which is a cover, is to cover um, a kind of game that I found really fascinating um, about 10 and, oh god, like 12, 13 years ago. This was um, a kind of a proper bargain bin favourite along with games like, um, oh what was it, games like Fatal Inertia and, um, oh god, there was a few like that. I guess Army of Two eventually, but this was kind of a little bit before that. These are like weird, largely obscure kind of um, Xbox 360 games. So we're gonna give it a go. I've, I've only ever played this once. It was at a friend's house, which is always a great sign. Um, it had a kind of it had a really cool look to it. It kind of reminded me a lot of. Um, I kind of played it after I'd played Bayonetta, weirdly enough, which actually came out like two, three years later. Uh, it was kind of like a dark um, adventure gamey type thing. Um, so we'll, we'll give this a quick little little go. I'm, I'm probably not going to play too much. Probably not going to take it too seriously. I've got a, I've kind of, I kind of wish I could record a bit more, but I've, um, it's been a really hectic day. I've been um, doing freelance work and I've been, and I'm working on something after this. So hence, this will be about maybe an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. Uh, and I tend to do two to three hours. Tomorrow we're doing, um, Tomorrow we have the, the standard Forza streams, so that'll be fine. Um, and then Friday we'll either have the Forza, we either have a Forza continuation or we will or it'll be Saturday. There, there will be stuff, don't worry. Um, there, there will be, I'll be doing plenty of stuff. Hopefully I'll um, be able to get Steve on again, uh, Shredder Steve for uh, some more Formula One. Or Apparently he's got a bunch of games, so... You know, I'm... He really enjoyed that, by the way, so... This is going to essentially be a kind of, um, as much a kind of, I suppose, it's a confessional to a bullet witch, if you will. <laughs> it's um, just kind of like chatting, uh, talking about some cool stuff. Um, I've been experimenting a bit with Clone Hero as well, which is, uh, it's a probably a game I'll probably won't play a lot of, mostly because I'm worried about all the streams I've played being muted because it uses copyright material. But I, yeah, you know, which actually happened with one of the Forza streams. Like, apparently, some certain performances of classical music are actually um, are, are you know are very much content claimed. But you know, whatever. Um, welcome viewer. Uh, I can't actually tell who I can't tell who it is on the um, mobile dashboard. I do apologise. We are playing Bullet Witch, which is weird. It's not the kind. It's not quite the game you would expect when you see the box art or some of the graphical stuff for it. It's kind of. 
It's kind of an act, I suppose the best way to describe it is it's kind of like a cross between Bayonetta and Gears of War, at least how I played it. Like it was, it's kind of a little bit more agile than Gears, but kind of has that same kind of gunplay. Or I mostly remember that in this game, so you can blow up petrol stations and like, at the time it was kind of amazing. How long is this cutscene? Um, it's, yeah, so there is, yeah, it's kind of very much a zombie kind of thing. It's like zom zombies, witches, all that kind of stuff. It basically, it kind of tries to combine a lot of trends. Um, yeah. 2012, this game was like made like five years beforehand. The, the weird thing is like, it's, it talk about all these kind of future dates that like a long, long ago, which is, <laughs> which always makes me laugh. It's like back when 2002 was considered like a space year. Okay, most of 2013 on the US East Coast. You remember how this looked, right? Right. Now. You're not going anywhere. Now the thing about this is I can't quite tell whether this is. I think we're still in a pre-rendered cutscene somehow. Um. Yeah, like I'm not really necessarily fussed about. Too bad, old man. Oh God. It's Oh god, we have sassy military zombies. Before, before you kill me, let me say my prayers, please. Oh hi. <laughs> prayers. You should have done that before. Oh god. It's gonna be one of those. It's... Just a raven too bad. Right. So, like, I'm trying to work out if this is, if the kind of slowdown is just like a rendering thing, or whether, or like a pre -render rendered cutscene, or whether that's the game. She's got nice skin. And this is the titular bullet witch. She has a massive fuck off gun. So, okay, so we can move, um, ah, but, oh, brilliant, so you can, so, yeah, analog stick, we can shoot, we can, we have, like, a magic ring, so it's kind of like a combination of a bunch of different jams at once, um, so, yeah, you, you have, like, pages of magic, ah, yeah, there we go, okay, that makes a bit more sense, yeah, I was thinking, like, this game sure doesn't, oof, oh, bloody hell, the sensitivities, oh, okay, that's a bit wild, right, hold on, Abort, abort, abort! Right, oh, uh, control configuration. God, who thought to make it so bloody sensitive? Miscellaneous. Uh, turn that way down. Oh no, it's the gamepad. Um, misc. That's fine. Lower that. Lower that. I don't remember ever being that sensitive on the um, the on the original, but then again, the original ran really badly. I don't undo them. Save. Right. Oh, that's oh, that's a lot better. Uh, yeah, okay, get it. Okay. So, um, yeah. You can kind of probably guess the kind of controls. It's you know you, I lost it to jump. Uh, eight is attack. I'm pretty sure there's a jump. Well, maybe there isn't. Okay, you do have magic as well. Um, this is in kind of the oh, oh ah, yes, so you can kind of create magic walls and stuff like that for cover. This is kind of an early third-person shooter in the Xbox library. So this is I think this predates Gears of War because there's no cover system. There's no your aim is on click the stick rather than um, aiming on the buttons. Ah, that's okay. That's real. Are you dead enough? Uh, oh, sugar. Right, so, we've got NPCs, can't really do anything with. Uh, is that magic? Yeah. I do kind of. 
I do like games in this kind of era because they've got like a... They're just weird and quirky. They've kind of got enough of a budget to have an idea, but they don't have enough of a budget to realise it properly. And you get some really great games. I think the king of that is probably... Um, it's probably Deadly Premonition. The um, amazing Twin Peaks simulator. Um, made by... Uh, oh, I can't remember. Oh, made by... Uh, I think it's Wary60. Who is um, a fantastic developer. He eventually made, would make stuff like Dark Trees Don't Die. Um, I think have a jump. Uh, Dark Trees Don't Die. and um, oh, He's made some other stuff since. He's very pseudo-51 like if you've ever played any of his games. And like... There is a value to games which allow like up and coming like developers to kind of test themselves out. I'm not sure who made. I know Marvelous uh, was the developer, but I don't. I don't know a whole lot about this. I think if I do another stream of this, I'm probably going to try and get a bit more information because at the moment, most of what I know is purely anecdotal. This music's also very weirdly mellow for this situation. Oh, there you are. Oh, it seems like, it seems like the order's kind of mapped weirdly as well, like... Um, like, it's kind of very music-focused. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's it's all on full. Right, okay, never mind then. <laughs> Maybe that's just naturally how it is. Like it's D There's a lot of weird quirks in the uh, Xbox 360 lineup. Um, there we go. Um, where, like, particularly early games, like Dead Rising had a lot of... Um, Technical issues are going to be oh, I'm kind of being mulled here. Right, getting past the park bench, so there we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to play like one, maybe a couple of levels of this, just mostly to kind of see if it's worth really doing any longer streams of it. Okay, of course you have rebounding health because why wouldn't you in these sort of games? Right. Yeah, you can almost see like the kind of things that you you see in the games like Bayonetta and how they get it right. Right, so we can't get past the barrier, and we can't shoot past it. Okay, makes sense. So, so you gotta kill as many enemies as possible to get past that. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, there is no locational damage, by the way. So that's part of the reason why I'm just shooting like center and mass. Um, you know, or it's a race that they don't, there's no, like, actual feedback for it. Right, can't go this way. Oh, hello. You know what? Okay, yeah, he's actually dead. <laughs> um... Yeah, the weird thing about this game is it ran really badly um, on the th on the Xbox 360. Like, I remember, um, particularly when you start seeing um, a bit more physics in play, like, it's kind of crazy how poor the controls are. Oh, hello. There they are. There they are. Uh, right, so... What am I... What am I missing, then? I'm guessing there's another enemy I've missed. Yeah, so basically stuff like that, that would like kill the frame rate of, game, of the game, like it just having all these kind of like uh, physics like objects, I guess you'd call them, and like sort of destructible scenery. Um, yeah, it was during the time when a lot of games were kind of experimenting with um, a lot of like heavily physics based stuff. Eventually they kind of settled down and only really used it in games where there was actually some benefit to physics thing. 
Um, I mean, okay, admittedly, it's not the utter nadir of stuff like this. It's not, um, what's it? It's not like Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, where it's just, you, where you simply cannot play it because the physics and, well, everything else is kind of busted. Right, can I reach that ladder? No. Yeah, no, we can't. Hmm. Okay, where do we need to go then? Can't go there. I presume there is, like, there must be, there's probably, there's obviously something I've missed. Um, I do quite, I do quite like the design. I remember, like, I saw it a lot in, in bargain bins, admittedly. Uh, and, I, and I'd be, like, tempted just because of, like, oh, it's got a cool design and stuff. But I, yeah. I never really, I think by the time I had a 360, I didn't have a 360 through, like, the first few years. By the time I did, I didn't, there were, like, a load of other games I, I wanted to get instead. Um, and honestly, by the time Bayonetta came out, this game had, you know, I, I already had better shooters, and I already had games that had a, the games that did this game's kind of graphical and aesthetic style better. Right, so where am I meant to go then? Right. Help, is this just going to be tutorials? Yeah, it is. Magic. Melee. Inch of war. Okay, sacrifice. Okay, so, 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 okay, so there is some kind of a healing people like with your own health. I don't even know why a lot of these NPCs are here or what the benefit is. Is it just a points thing? I don't apologize, I'm really confused. Um, this is part of the reason why I only want to do this as a short stream, because um, gem like generally streams and, well, kind of video content in general, like it benefits from having a flow to it. And I, with, with a game I really didn't know a lot of, I couldn't necessarily promise that flow, so that's why we're kind of experimenting here. So um, for the... So we'll, you know, we'll, we'll we'll get through. We'll um we'll muddle through. Oh oh hello. <laughs> I might have to jump onto onto something there. Right. Um. Oh ah, is it? Oh, is it literally that I just missed one end of it? Okay, that. Right. Oh. Can you hear my bullets? I can hear more bullets, but I can't see anyone. That's. Oh, oh there. Sorry, there they are. Yeah, I feel like I need to like adjust the sensitivity to like minus figures. Right. Okay. The barrier's still. The barrier's still there. Suggest there's more enemies. This is. <laughs> I, I can kind of see why this game wasn't necessarily that successful. It's like, oh, cool! Like a new weird, you know. I think I don't think this game sold for full price. Oh, this you know interesting, unique kind of um, like shooter game. It's called Bullet Witch. That's you know I'm not saying anything like that. And then you play it like, oh shit. Um, what? I mean, there's plenty of other recommendations I can make for this. Like. Bayonetta is the obvious one, particularly since I think on um, Steam it's the same price to get Bayonetta on Steam as um, as this. And of course there is an amazing sequel of Bayonetta, um, although that's only on Switch, well it's only on Wii U and Switch at the moment. Um, what else would I recommend? Um, Residence of Fate I think is a really good game for around this time as well, it had a really interesting kind of, it was like an interesting gun based um you know, RPG. Obviously a different jump, but, you know, probably scratches a very similar edge. Also, this animation. I just realised just how increasingly weird this animation is, where she's, where uh, ball, the bolt, which is holding, the way she's holding the gun. I think it's called the gun rod. Right, it's very, very strange. Oh... I remember, I remember when games like this was was looked incredible. <laughs> I 
because it had multiple buildings and it had physics. This nowadays actually looks like, you know, with the benefit of hindsight and several generations of development, looks a bit more like a, uh, a glorified PS2 game. And I suppose to a degree it probably was, like, it probably was, like, kind of, well, we, you know, we've got, we've got this game that we've been working on for, for a couple of years or so, it's ready for the PS2, oh wait, there's a new system, fine, just, I don't know, make it a bit shinier, you know, add Bloom and add, um, add Bloom and add some physics and there you go. I've probably been a bit unfair there, um, but, where am I even meant to go? Oh, sorry, I thought that was a cultist over a shutter. Right, so. Let's go back into the help. We will. We will fig we'll figure it out at some point. I know there is more There is more than just this area. Obviously there is. So there is an enemy there. Oh, it's, oh, he's, it's him. Can we hit him? No. It was worth a try, honestly. Um, I mean, it feels like the way you're meant to go is across this bridge, but... Let's see, anyway. Reload. Uh, do we have any magic we can use? No, it just makes cover. Yeah, um, and yeah, we're... Okay, that's not an option because of invisible walls. Hmm. Right. Anyway, while we're, <laughs> while we're bothering through, um, you know, how, how are you? <laughs> how was your day been? Uh, mine's been very good, thank you. <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I've, I've said, I've, put this on a stream that I don't really expect anyone to watch. Um, what the hell? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean, that, that's also the problem with a game like this is it's either going to be entertainingly bad or it's going to be bad bad and this is unfortunately kind of more boring bad than good bad. I mean, if they have at least, they haven't rated it. It, it, it is in 4K. Uh, although it will be down to 1080 for um, for, for for those uh, watching on on um, Twitch. Um, but we, you know we should. I'm thinking what it is is you literally have to kill every enemy up until this point, and so I've got to go all the way back to the start of the level to find the one enemy I missed, which. Seems like it's such a. It reminds me of like old European platformers that used to do that. We'd have to like, you'd have to collect every McGubbin, and like you miss one, so you'd have to like you spend like more time searching for the one missing thing than it took you to beat the rest of the level. I'm just like, and it's just like that's really annoying. Running, just keep running. Yeah, so okay, so we're back at the beginning of the of the level. And we've seen nothing. Did something glitch? There must be something I'm missing, like. <laughs> For some reason, I thought if you held it down, it'd be like Dark Souls, where if you hold it down, it would let you run, but no, it just lets you jump forever. Yeah, let's not do that. I, I, I don't think the game, I don't think, likes its animations very much. Although, that said, it's got, you know, 
it does it does have the same uh, role move that uh, Bayonetta does. You know, the witch time. It's actually it's actually mapped to the same button. It's mapped to the left trigger. Um, yeah. Hmm. Bayonetta. Now, should I? That that's a game I have actually beaten a few times. Should I play that on stream? That's a question. Um. Oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> oh, I was gonna try and glitch my way through the wall, but I don't. I don't know what the the, tr the particular trick for this game is. Um, man, there must be something nearby. No, it's. A good, despite the fact that despite the fact it looks horrifying, that is an NPC. I die. <laughs> if I just keep shooting physics objects, maybe. Oh, oh, wow! <laughs> you can actually, yeah, yeah, wow, you can actually break apart stuff. I'm, I'm going to assume there has been a problem. That. Let's get the cutscenes. Yeah, the cutscenes. Uh, the game itself, at least, runs pretty well. Like, so I, I've got that to to um, be happy about. I do like this mysterious broken sword music it has. It's kind of very, very quirky, very not entirely appropriate for for, for the situation or the game we're playing, but cool nonetheless. Okay, look, it got to a checkpoint. What an animation. So, need to... Oh shit, no. Try a trick I like to call car explodes. Um, wait, did that not just oh no she didn't. Oh hello, there you are. I genuinely thought like uh, that lady face through the wall. Right, we are in normal mode, I should stress. Um like I should emphasize that. I mean, this. I know this is the first level, so it's probably gonna have like a crazy difficulty spike. But this is ostensibly meant to be a, an av average challenge. But, absolutely 
get oh shit, no, that's not what I meant to hit. Yeah, bye bye. And then there is oh uh, oh hi. Oh, get out the way, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh. There we go, another one down, and I wish I can hear another one. This is, I will say, like, this is the kind of game that could probably benefit from a radar. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think I'd get past there, but you, it's always worth a try, isn't it? God, this game is trying. I'm going to go back through that way. Ah, here's another guy. Oh, well, we made it in the end. I'll admit part of that is probably my own stupidity. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I try to think of a game that has that reminds me of this. Probably X Blades actually. X Blades is a game that you probably remember it from its cover. Um, it's very um, suggestive cover, for want of a better term. It's not that great a game. I, it's actually not even that entertainingly bad. Like, I, I've done. I, did, I think I did a Steam Hibernation of it. Um, it was like my old YouTube series. I'll probably will play through it again. I have beaten it. Uh, it's just a very poor, um, you know, uh, kind of uh, cinematic uh, action game, like character action game. Even it should. No. It looks like the shield is down. Let's keep moving. It, it's you know something akin to uh, Bayonetta. Okay, so it's it's, it's something like a, a a bayonetta or a um uh or De oh, I suppose a uh, push that never may cry or a wonderful one oh one but one but all three of those games are way better and way more imaginative. I can't go through that way. So presumably there is another thing we need to beat. Should the game said there's a build there's a way to run, but. That's not it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. That's 
A ver. Eso sí te ha venido, macho. A ver. Yeah, just take you out dead quickly. And another brain. Big brain blowing up the land. Right. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, oh, my favourite part of budget games, the backtracking. Uh, hopefully I'm just going to go through this way. I mean, I at least want to kind of get through this stage. Pull, pull left trigger to execute a dodge action. Escape the explosions of grenades or missiles. It'll also be hard. That, that seems to read really weirdly. I don't know why. go past that's more like it three but seriously three colored barriers in like the first like 10 minutes of a level <laughs> that's that that's quite sad that, that's really really sad See that? Went, just the, the subtitles went like Japanese. Uh, lightning. Right, okay. Um, that was. Did that work? Gotta wait for the, the magic to come back. Oh, oh shit. Right, so I need to find something that I need to find some enemies to kill for I can Hopefully, be enough to cast the spell again. No, not quite. Right, okay, I, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it a bit more. Oh, is that an enemy or is that. Yeah, that's an enemy. Good. That's what I'm after. Take that, you fool. Alright. Uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Maybe in the next like hundred years, my magic will actually oh, still can't. Mm. Okay. Maybe you. And you. Right, okay. Now, I, pro I think at this point I probably could just run past, but you know what. I'm kind of trying to prove a point now. I don't. I don't know if you can see me actually activate the magic properly, rather than kind of fuck it up. Uh, there. I think that got it. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's, that's weird. It's just kind of like odd dynamic music in this game. It's it's kind of surreal. I was kind of expecting a soundtrack, I guess. Right, let's. I will, oh, okay, so I was expecting them to kind of blow up each other. But apparently not. Alright. 
but yeah. I mean, naturally, all that stuff would have killed the um, killed the frame rate of the game in the past. Uh, can we blow that thing up? Yes, but all it does is uh, illuminate where the enemies are. go. Alright, do we have... Oh. Yeah. I, I think the weird thing about this, I, um, I read, I read the description on Steam and it describes it as a, as a, no, on Twitch even, and it describes it as a horror shooter and I'm like thinking, this isn't horrible horror at all. I mean, other than the fact it had zombies in it, which, yo, it's, it's horror in the same sense warm bodies is a horror. In the same sense that uh, Army of Darkness is a horror. In the sense that it's not really. Oh, oh, that's some permanent damage. Um, I've noticed that. Like we, are, we will not regenerate all the way. I don't think. Before we do anything, lightning time. <coughs> Yeah, I, 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 I'm really sorry, but I don't think I'll be playing this again. <laughs> huh? Seriously? There we go. Uh, be eradicated. Yeah, that should have got it. Okay, and that, yeah, okay, now I'm starting to heal. I, th I think it's because no, I think if there's no enemies in proximity, you'll heal naturally. Oh, okay, okay, now I know where we are. We're kind of back where we were. Oh. Oh. That was almost ref. That, that was almost reflexive. Another one down. Um, whatever next. I guess we continue on this way. Um, yeah, because I think we want to go into the city, so I'm guessing we go up that interstate. Well, I mean, we know now we don't need to kill everything. <laughs> That's how I know about the gas station. Gas station has, like, just burned into my mind when I think of this game. Right, so let's... I think you, I think you can... I think you're able to just shoot... I don't think you even need to shoot one of the cars, but... Oops, I think... Should be able to shoot... Oh, I'm getting, getting sharp a bit. There we go. Sorry, I think you only caught the end of that, but... <laughs> that is... Oh, that is actually ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my word. Did I do that? Yeah. And in the classic old uh, have physics deal, um, just explode stuff into very large chunks. Uh, right, let's... 
a, I believe there are a ton of, of like petrol stations in this game as well that you can blow up. Like to the point where I think that's like the main gimmick of the game that works. I'm hearing like I'm hearing like laser bullets fire. Like Right, so the first one we need to kill a brain to open up that barrier and then And then we need to go up. So let's let's go do that. Yeah. Looks like our music is a bit on there, but I'm I'm guessing they're trying to create some form of atmosphere, but seriously when you when you are a bullet which with a giant gun with like unlimited ammo, you can't really develop some kind of like tension. So Oh, we can't jump up there, but I'm pretty sure we can shoot it. There we go. And just in case you missed it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just realised one of the chunks was actually resting on the barrier itself, and it kind of like knocked it down. Oh god, I bet, I bet, I bet that you got like maybe ten frames a second for that at one point. Right, come on, let's. Run across with that. I mean, I know you're a bull witch, but that that animation is just weird. Actually, have, has the physics messed me up a bit? Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say, I, was, <laughs> I bet there's someone who actually had like really bad luck with like the um, with like the gas station blown up, and actually managed to like stop themselves from like. Advice to stop us completely from like getting through to the next area, and I I, I feel for them. AK boss time. Okay, mission: destroy all the tanks and remove the barrier. Right so as we know, the only way to actually so this is a case of literally you just have to grind until you can. You. you have to grind until you can actually um, ca you know, cast the, like, the, the, the tank that's the magic. Oh, did I get both? Oh, I got both of them. Okay, never mind. I was going to say like you have to kill like one and then grind until you get your magic back and then kill the other one, but apparently that's not the case. You can actually just... Are gone. We still have a barrier there. So, hmm. so where's the brain? I guess it's back up the other side, the other way on the bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to play much more of this um, get the game. I think that's what I'm going to do. Though. I'm going to have like one stream every week. I'm going to try a new game and just see. I kind of make it like a Steam hibernation, I guess, which is like my old YouTube series, so where we basically I would play about an. Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry, I weren't paying attention there. Uh, yeah, continue. I'm I'm not really worried. About it. I because I suspect this is one of those games that doesn't have very large. Um... Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, sh sh sugar, sugar, sugar. There you die. Let's just start getting my health back. Okay, let's we'll try the usual trick of um, feathering. Right. There we go. Mm. I, I mean, I do like the magic system. It's probably one of the more um, intuitive ones I've used in, in a, a game like this. Okay. Light in time. And just so burns away. Taste my lightning, fucker! There we go. I was worried really it wouldn't get both of them, but I think it, it took out one straight away and then took out the other one with the main shot. Oh fuck. Okay, that's what's hurt. Oh, okay, that's what's hurting me badly. Um, and I don't have enough magic. Uh, don't have enough magic walls, so. 
I'm just gonna have to improvise. So that's one down. And then just keep moving, just keep moving, keep dodging. Now, I'm presuming we have to go this way then. Ah, there we go, yeah. Does that mean I have to turn around? And... Okay. I'm going to have to turn around and face it, aren't I? Walnut heads create barriers and use their body to... Okay. Okay, so, like most stuff in, in the mid two, in, in like 2005 to 2007, there's a physics-based boss. Hi guys. Got it. <laughs> okay, that's quite cool how Everything drops when you kill it, like you know, at least it got that correct. And I can't fault I can't fault this game's imagination. It is it's trying some stuff. Um It's probably hard to appreciate um you know in twenty twenty times, but a lot of the stuff here probably hasn't or hasn't really been done yet, or has only been done quite badly. So I might actually be wrong in, in saying it's from two thousand seven, it might be from two thousand six, two thousand five. The gas station flames. It's reporting to get a woman in black cause a huge explosion. In. So what do we get? Uh, okay, so we lost our no continue bonus. But we still get an S rank, so... Oh, I'm not even viewing the leaderboards. Like, I know I'm doing... I'm bad on it. <laughs> okay! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> what more can be said than that? Um, so let's just see some of the stuff you can get. You can boost your uh, health and magic. Uh, improve, you can get different forms, uh, which have elements apparently. So you probably, I think you probably want to buy, like, get as, get as many forms as you can get. Oh, can't get the gathering form. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Get all the forms you can possibly get. Sorry, right now. Uh, element shots. So presumably that's based on which type it is. Right. Spike. Uh, more power. And ma okay, and Raven's panic, which is magic. Uh -oh. uh, magic panic, which slows down enemies. Okay, so you can get some quite cool spells and stuff. And I can't afford anything else than that, so that's fine. Uh, we'll probably see what the next area is, and then I'll probably drop out then. 2013-18, disaster, war, plague, and an army of evil monsters. All the catastrophes wrought by demons have reduced humanity's numbers to under 1 billion. Everyone assumes that this is the end, but there have been rumours of a black-clad woman with a huge gun and demonic powers. Hmm... Remember 2013, remember when this, all this happened? Fun times. Yeah. I say this when I'm in the middle of a pandemic, like... Um, yeah, ho ho hopefully, it won't be, hopefully, hopefully it won't be 2023 that's like that. Right, yeah, it's just going to give me advice for all the stuff I've done. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Right. Uh, the City of Screen, what a name. Um... Yeah, uh, I do quite like I do quite like the moon. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to leave it there. I think. No, I should retire. It's again return to tile screen. Yeah, save and all that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to pick this up. Honestly, I will probably put it on. Um, I probably put the stream up, um, and then kind of. 
think about whether I want to continue playing this or whether it'd be worth me trying a different game. I think what I might do is I might have, I'm, I'm gonna have a thought, like, cause I'm, I'm gonna try and form my kind of schedule, at least for now. I'm probably gonna have, um, I'm gonna have Forza on Thursday, always. Uh, I'm gonna do the season, I'm gonna do the Forza season mode and chill. That, that's it, that was really enjoyable to me. I will probably have a Friday stream, um, of some kind. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's gonna be a, there's definitely gonna be a weekend stream of some kind. It'll probably, um, because I'm, I'm busy Saturday evening and I'm busy Sunday afternoon. It'll probably be Sunday morning or maybe Sunday, uh, early, early on Saturday. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Um, hopefully, hopefully that'll be something I can get Shredder Steel onto again. If, if it's Shredder Steel, it'll be early in the morning again. Um, who el what else would I do? Um, Mondays, um, I'll probably do, yeah, I'll probably do a stream on Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then I probably won't do another Wednesday stream just because Wednesdays are getting increasingly hectic for me. So I may have to, uh, I may, I may do a Monday or a Tuesday stream instead. Maybe both, you never know. Maybe a Friday.